fantastic. Uh, but that's not what you expected me to say, is it? You probably expected me to say, Hello, Nerd Fantastic. Today is Tuesday. My name is Mr. Tuesday, and I am here to rock your planet. <laughs> Intro came back. That's awesome. Hello, intro. How are you today? Great. I am doing well. Hillary, you asked, what is our favorite type of candy? I have to say, you know what, Hillary? I just like candy. But up ba 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 I like candy. Those aren't the words to that song. Um, but I like candy of all shapes and sizes. I don't really like dark chocolate. Um, and some candy I like just because it's fun to eat, like Laffy Taffy while being hilarious, is also like a fantastic texture in my mouth. That's what she said. So, really, I just like candy in general. I would say my favorite Halloween candy, though, is probably like... It's probably the things that I wouldn't normally go buy. Like, I don't usually buy Reese's Peanut Butter Cups because they're kind of a rip-off because you pay and you only get two of them, you know? I just feel like that's kind of a rip-off. You only get two in each package. Or like... uh can't think of anything else. Maybe like those Tootsie Rolls that are weird flavors like vanilla and orange and lemon lime. Like I never buy those, but sometimes you get those for Halloween. So I like those thingies. Now that I'm over here, I'm going to talk about Travis's question, which is what makes us a nerd. And you saw my last video probably is a good indication of what makes me a nerd because I film videos on the internet where I change clothes multiple times and do weird voices. Um, so yeah, so many things that make me nerdy. I would say one of them though, a defining characteristic is my phenomenal memory. Like, I can remember things really quickly. We can go see a movie, and I will quote the movie in the parking lot, and you're like, how are you doing that? And I'm just like, I have phenomenal brain powers. Um, <laughs> come on, the fact that I think I have phenomenal brain powers is cool kind of makes me a nerd. Uh, but, Travis, you also hit the nail on the head in the comment when you said, Scott, you seem like you're probably a Metallica nerd. And for, like, a good portion of my life, I was, like, really, really into, like, music. And I know, like, a lot of music trivia. And I enjoy listening to, like, certain types of music, especially, like, rock music, and, like, yeah, give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. That was a Metallica lyric. But I knew a lot about Metallica and a bunch of, like, the, the good people from back in the day, that type thing. That was a dumb conclusion to why I'm a nerd. I play video games. I love Harry Potter. Uh, I pretty much love anything nerdy. Like, check this out, okay? Check this out. Today, I felt like I needed to brighten my day. So what did I do to brighten my day besides voting and poning terrorists by voting? Yeah, democracy. I did something else. I put on this awesome belt buckle. Oh, yeah! That is a big cougar on my belt buckle. Isn't that sweet? That's amazing. Why would I do that? Because I'm a giant nerd. I am quite big for a nerd. I'm like six feet tall. Quite large. Dave, dude, I loved your post on Facebook today, the link to the article from The Onion about how America, people are afraid that they're actually going to elect Congress today. Like, that just, that made me laugh. That was brilliant. Sarah Dodd, good luck on NaNoWriMo. Um, I tried that last year, and it was tough. Uh, I'm not going to do it this year, because instead I'm going to finish applications to grad school. I have to finish them this month, or else... I would finish them the next month, but I'm going to finish them this month because I got standards and I've set them myself and I'm doing it. I'm doing it, baby. I'm doing it. And Travis, you asked us about nerd on nerd hating. And I think what it really boils down to is that some people um, fail to grasp the concept that they're still part of a giant collective humanity. You know, like in your own choir thing, there's people in your group that probably think that they're cooler than other people. And so those people feel like they have status and that they can do whatever they want and that they're better than other people, so it gives them permission to do whatever they want. But the reality is, none of you are cool. You're all a bunch of nerds, standing on risers, singing songs, and no one cares. You know, and I say that out of the kindness of my heart, because I love choir nerds, but I'm just saying, you're all in the choir. You know what I mean? And I think, I know that it can be frustrating, but it's the same thing that happens everywhere. I mean, that happens on sports teams, that happens in politics, that happens in people's families, you know? Like, everybody's got that family member that they're like, oh, that guy's, oh, whatever. And that guy's still a part of your family. Anyways, my, my point is that sometimes we do that as human beings. We lose sight of the fact that we are all one giant thing, and instead we separate ourselves into little tiny groups when really all of those groups make the big thing, like molecules making an ocean. That was deep. Get it? Because it's the ocean. It's deep. Oh, 
I am a genius. Also, I have to say this. No Shave November, going pretty well. I shaved on the 31st. I'm a No Shave November purist. I shaved on the 31st in the morning, and this is how much facial hair I have because my facial hair grows like something that grows fast. I don't know what grows fast. Bacteria in a kindergarten classroom or something. That was dumb. This video should be over, right?